what we like, the Grand Sport's everyday usability and the glorious power of its LT1 V8 continue to impress. Driving it back to back with far pricier choices in the high performance sports car realm reveals that the chassis in General Motors marquee sports car delivers better isolation while maintaining a lustworthy suppleness in its steering and handling. Cameras on the nose of the VET give us an idea of when we're about to connect with the curb during low speed and parking maneuvers, but it requires that we actually use them, which is easier said than done, necessitating a tap or two on the center touch screen. Nearly every logbook comment mentions driver's preferences for the base seats in this car, so you can safely conclude that we like them more than the optional competition seats. What we don't like, both the rearward and forward cameras display a hilariously low resolution image in our 2017 model, the lack of crispness making it difficult to discern the edge of a hard object. Chevrolet claims to have upped the pixel count for 18. Also, one astute reader pointed out that when we chided this car for not quite making the same grip as other Grand Sports, we were comparing a car with its tires inflated to 35 psi, this one, to others with tires set to 30 psi. So, we don't like it when we, meaning this author, make boneheaded comparisons. It turns out this car's rocker panel was repaired at a dealership before we took possession and the tire placard on the door jam was replaced with an inaccurate one resulting in our overfilling of the tires. All Grand Sports tires should indeed be inflated to 30 psi. What went wrong, nothing went wrong that was the Grand Sports fault. After two and a half months in the fleet, our Blue Vet developed a moderate vibration at speed. We pulled the wheels and attempted to rebalance them, only to learn that all four wheels were bent. Michigan roads having taken their toll, we paid a wheel repair specialist $480 to straighten three wheels. The left rear wheel was cracked and a replacement 12 by 20 inch wheel ran $619 at the dealer, feeling lazy, we also spent $20 to have the dealer swap the 25 series, run flat tire because not having to muscle tires that big off and on a wheel is worth every bit of a couple of saw bucks. Where we went? aside from the vet's pilgrimage to its birthplace of Bowling Green, Kentucky, for the solar eclipse in August, it hasn't left the state of Michigan. We're not quite sure why, it's well known that the 15 cubic foot cargo hold offers plenty of practicality as far as sports cars go. Unfortunately for the Grand Sport, it likely will stay near home through most of the winter. We recently acquired a set of Michelin Pilot Alpin PA4S in the OE size, $1,515 for four, to keep the car safely on the road in snow and ice. The one unfortunate aspect of this is that the PA4S are not run flats. Taking a road trip without provisions for a flat tire is the kind of game.